This is Lauren. You flew out all the way from Texas, is that right? Yes. yes. Howdy. Give us a little background growing up in Texas. Uh, I want to know all about your collaging as well, but talk okay. to us early days of Lauren. Early days Where of Lauren were from? not in Texas. Oh, I right. am born and raised in Eugene, Oregon, right next to the University of Oregon campus. Oh. So I actually attended Oregon my first year and a half of college, played softball there. Is that home of the Ducks? That is home of the Ducks. Shout out wow. to the Ducks. Oh, ducks. Oh, ducks. Great uniforms. Craft. We have great uniforms because Nike campus is two hours That's, north of is. Oregon. So, I mean, easy. There it is. But my coach, my softball coach that coached me at Oregon got the head coach job at Texas. So then I uh, ended up leaving scouted. and followed him, me and four others. Yep. That's uh, awesome. We all came to Texas. And then I loved Austin so much, I ended up staying after I graduated. Wow. So I'm not I born and raised there, but I'm like a, I feel like I claim it's Texas now as mine. Right. You've yeah. been there long enough, now, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. I live there okay. now. I've been there five years, so I'm like, yeah. I'm practically local at this yeah. point. Right. So. No, um, we're big accent show. No Southern accent on you, huh? No, no, mm, I got yeah. nothing. But honestly, no one in Austin has an accent because yeah. it's a bunch of people from all over the country that just right. moved there. It's not really anyone that's from Austin. Right. right. Well, great right. prices down in Austin. I've yeah. Heard. Great Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, affordable housing? Oh, stuff yeah. like that? Well, it's really? the taxes. We have something with taxes. There. So people like move their businesses. A lot of Californians Very are coming to Texas that. for the business. Yeah. So. That's like Colin and I are from New Hampshire. Yeah. Basically tax free state. You right. Know? So very similar. Too much. <laughs> Too okay, now we're just wait, do you guys had no sales tax in New Hampshire? Here's where it gets a little yeah. funny. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it's no sales tax. Is it no yeah. sales tax? Yeah. Yeah. That's the Florida the vibe there. That has no sales oh, tax. okay. So I knew there was one other, I just never knew what it was. Yeah. So. New Hampshire. Back to the soft what position uh did you play? I played every position in college except oh, wow. for second Casual. base and pitcher. So I was oh, okay. very much a utility player, but primarily I played left field and first base. Was there a reason no second base? <laughs> because second our, base our second baseman, Janae Jefferson, All-American, she's incredible and amazing. Like so there was no Wait, reason. Janae. We know Janae. Janae Jefferson, you know her? I'm pretty sure. Well, she's a star. She's big time in the softball world, so. Wait, I'll have to look it up to know if it's the same Janae. Yeah, so but if it, it is, she's she was like All-American. Right. There was no need for anyone else to even practice. Right. Not even going to try. Right. Right. Yeah, Let no. her have that. And then pitcher, obviously. You we would, as we, well? would, we would lose if I ever pitched. So that's why that's the other position. I don't I buy that so for a second. She's no, so trust horrible. me. Trust she? Honestly, she so much better if I injury, though. I know so many pitchers that have had, like, rotated cop injuries. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Well, what I mean, was your favorite? I personally loved playing first base because I was so mm. close to the pitcher that I could talk to her in between yeah. pitches. And I, I just always be like, you yeah. got, like, the more you talk, the less you think. Right. And right. so I would talk the whole time and not get stressed or think about the ball coming to me. Right. Yeah. I just be talking. But, and the you're constantly time. in the play. That's yes. like first mm. base, catcher, pitcher, you're in every play. Exactly. Right. And my parents, they would always sit above our dugout in like the family section. Then they could see me and have a good oh. view of me. So they liked when mm. I was at first. Waving too. For first you base? Yeah, I, yes, I, <laughs> oh I my God, you're a lefty? I hit left handed. Oh, goofy. Yeah. Goofy. I'm a lefty. Yeah, goofy. Lefties are where it's at. But you I know, so we just high five with our left hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly not left handed. I just hit left handed. So. Lied. And on air. No, I'm not sure about that word. That's Get so it. Misinterpreted <laughs> on air. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Well, wow, okay. Look at this. I love this, it. This right. is okay. Now let's get into you graduate. Mm -hmm. Were you already doing content in college or? Yeah. What was what launched you into getting into content? So that's where things get a little confusing. So when you're in college, when I was, I think my junior year, I posted my first TikTok video and oh, it was with yeah. one of my best friends, Mary. We were hitting in the baseball facility and it ended up getting millions of views. Oh, and let's then go. I kind of gained a following from that. But with college, you're not allowed to make money on social media. You, right. can't, you couldn't monetize it until... Yep. I believe it was maybe 2021 when they changed NCAA. the NIL. Yeah, I was just going to say, they changed yeah, that. Yeah, so now. they yeah. changed yeah. the rule, which is now affecting a ton of other things as far as recruiting goes. Does that just piss you off, being like, you just missed that? See, I'm mm. just grateful that I was in it. So That's I got true. it my last year because I had five years of college because yeah. of COVID. So mm -hmm. I had my COVID extra eligibility oh. year. So I got to oh. kind of get into the NIL space, but it's still so new that no one really knows exactly how to navigate it. Yeah. The rules are kind of still changing. People right. are navigating it still. So I feel fortunate that I was a part of it for when I was, but it's still, it makes college not as college. Like you're yeah. no longer like just working already. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah, you're, yeah. you're no longer sense. just posting for fun, but you're posting because right. you're like, I want to go viral or I want right, to go right. gain a following, which is not necessarily the right way to go right. about it. Yeah, yeah 100%. So. But that's kind of how I got started. One thing we definitely want to dive into is, this is a question we have for all three of you. Okay. Because the clip, we're going to need that first viral clip, by the way. Mm, I will send it. Please do. <laughs> what was the first video that made you famous? 
I don't consider myself famous whatsoever. Lauren, I yeah, have a, isn't I have she a the most humble thing <laughs> no, you've ever seen no. in your life? I mean, I have a following, yes, but I'm not famous by any means. Like you're, people, you're famous in our eyes. Yeah, right. no, one thousand percent. I think I'm in the presence of fame with you guys. Uh, around I don't know me, about so that. Right. I don't have a production company with all these fancy cameras, <laughs> <laughs> so I am not the famous one here. Shout but out, Peter. Yeah, so yeah. y'all are doing Hello. great back there. Yep. You really have the whole team. Yes, but again, you know? I just I don't consider myself famous. I have a following, like which that. has responsibility, obviously, because right. a lot of my demographic is younger boys and girls that play sports. Right. So I don't want to say anything that is negative yeah. or anything along those lines. But again, I don't consider myself famous. I consider myself lucky that a oh. video went viral, I guess. Yeah. Isn't she the best? I the best. You. I don't know about all that. You're hyping me up. No, 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 <laughs> Thank, no. You. Thank you. I was but. saying in um, Mexico City, Lauren was the one that asked about going to church. Yeah. We go to church yeah. as well. Yeah. I know. Call I'm upset you weren't staying in the church. Don't forget about me. Know. Jesus Christ. Okay. Loser. <laughs> what about now? So your first video that went viral was... Obviously, you playing softball. Uh -huh. After you graduated, do you feel like a stress to like continue to like make content around softball, or were you already like evolving into your own type of personality? I think that there. I think it's it's hard to admit, but yes, I felt like I was out of place posting about softball because I was done. I was graduated, and so then I felt like I was holding on to softball so tightly yeah. when I'm like, I'm done. I need to let it go. But at the same time, I'm like, that's kind of what got me in the position right. I'm in. So I want to continue to give back to the game and talk about the game. But then when I do, the comments are like, you're graduated. Stop mm. talking about softball. I'm like, washed up. I just, <laughs> and again, yeah. and like, I, I am very much washed up athlete, granted. But I'm like, the game of softball gave me so much that yeah. I want to continue to talk about it and make other people aware of the sport so right. that it grows. And younger girls have the opportunity to play professionally, not just yeah. have college be the biggest stage. Is coaching like in that. your future at all? Mm. I hesitate with that one. I love I love the game so much, but at, at the same time, coaching, I feel like, puts into a whole different landscape where right. it's like, if, it, if I'm giving back, it would be like private lessons, or like a youth a youth team I would love to coach. College level, I don't know if I could do it, to be honest right, with you. Right. So yeah. it's a lot. <laughs> back yeah, on those imagine. hate comments, I'm always like, she, it, it's interesting, like in the world of social, I'm curious your take on this, at least from my point of view, we guys get a lot less hate comments, mm -hmm. depending on the content, obviously. Yeah. Whereas, like, with you, and, and um, I'd love to know your take, like, how, of the hate comments you get, how do you deal with those? Well, like, honestly, do you read all the comments? I feel fortunate. I don't have a ton of hate comments. Yeah. I really don't. Nice. Um, a majority of the comments I get are from older guys that say that I should stop talking about softball mm. and leave it behind or people saying I don't have a job and I don't do anything. So, I mean, it's, it's things like that. And it's hard for me too, because I'm like, they're telling the truth in yeah. a sense. I am done with softball. I'm not playing anymore. Do I have a job? A very uh, unique and different job. 100%. And it's yep. one that I feel so lucky to be a part of because it's not a nine to five. I don't yeah. have to wake up and go to the office right. and have a boss that's constantly nagging me. I feel so lucky for that. So I'm like, right. in one perspective, I can understand where you're coming from. And in another, I'm like, I am doing work. Right. It's just a different space yeah. that's still new. Right. I got the goosebumps you know? with this music and her saying yeah. that. <laughs> I was like, wow. Oh, and all the people Woo! giving those comments would give their left leg to be I in your know. situation. Yeah, so it's a, like, great. once you yeah. once you like see how that is. Like, yeah. But then with that, it's like, it's something that I'm so fortunate to do, but then I feel like I constantly have to feel so lucky and so grateful that I can't feel stressed. And then it's right. like, right. Yeah. even when if I'm traveling constantly, I'm stressed out, but I feel like I can't feel that because I'm right. so lucky to be in the position I am. So it's a whole new well, space. Well, it's a good I'm attitude to have. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So important. We say that yeah. all, like we were just traveling a bunch last week, which we were so grateful for every single opportunity and for to be able to go see like different states. But we got home and we were like, we do not want to leave Massachusetts for the next like month. Yeah. But like you're saying, like it's really hard to be like, oh, I'm so exhausted from that. Like what awesome opportunities. We're so grateful. But like there's something about just like that, like simplicity of like being back home that you're like, totally. I love this. Like, totally. So. And, and I mean, we go to these amazing places, we travel, but you almost don't get to enjoy the no. travel too much because you're constantly having your phone out, right. taking videos yeah. of everything. You're like, yeah. did I get the content I needed here? Did I get the video right. I needed here? Checking Instead the of itinerary. Just actually yeah. like being fully present. Yeah. It's yeah. so different. So yeah, 100%. I don't know. There's highs and lows. Yeah. yeah. When did Absolutely. you realize you could monetize your social internet into a business? It was really the day the NIL rule was passed. Oh, really? I had a meeting with my management that I now have, and awesome. they really taught me everything in that landscape. I yeah. was so unaware of 
how to monetize really. I yeah. didn't genuinely know it was such a large thing to scale. Right, I didn't right. understand it. I still don't fully understand it. Yeah. So I lean on them a lot for right. uh, brand deals and really educating myself on it as much as I can. But it's still a space I'm so yeah. I'm so unfamiliar with. It's, I don't know, it's tricky. It's yeah. tricky. Oh my God. 100%. I don't yeah. think anyone really knows. Even like no. the managers, it's new like for it's everyone. so new. No. Yeah. yeah. And it's something, it doesn't last forever. Social yeah. media yeah. is not something that lasts forever. I'm pretty sure TikTok just got banned in what, Montana yeah, or I something? Did hear that. Yeah. 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 It's like you exactly just right. never know yeah. when something's going to happen. <laughs> it's just, it's got to be on your toes. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> sure. Let's get into the inner workings of Lauren's brain here. All right. Okay, let's do it. What motivates you? I think I've always been fairly self-motivated mm -hmm. and that started from playing sports growing up. Yeah. I always wanted to be the best at whatever I was doing. I love to challenge myself as far as putting myself in situations when I was younger, I would play on older softball teams so that I was challenged oh, in that aspect. Wow. I've always just, I think I am fairly self-motivated. My parents are, they've both been self-employed for yep. their entire life. My dad has never had a boss. Wow. He's, I love that. They had their own family business? So we started out, we had a jewelry business. And oh, when let's go. Um, it was 2008, I believe, we could no longer support our family doing that. So my dad ended up getting his real estate license. Wow. Practiced real estate for a long time at Remax. And then eventually he started his own real estate brokerage now in Oregon, Triple X Realty. And my mom Triple is- X Realty. My Shout mom is out. like technically the boss because she's the principal broker, but mm, they just- love that. I have just seen them and how hard they've both worked. And then also seeing my mom when we couldn't support using just our gallery, right. my mom getting a job at like a dermatology office or something. Wow, yeah. And just seeing them as my role models in that example has really, it's caused me to be self-motivated because yeah. I strive to be like them. Right. If that makes sense. hundred percent. So I love too that like your dad was like, all right, you know what? Like, I don't want, well, I don't know if that was like the conversation, but I don't want a boss. So we're going to find out another yeah. kind of role yeah. that allows me to like still work crazy. for myself. And exactly. I love that. I think so much harder than honestly just going and getting a job but in the like a basic nine to five, but in yeah. the long run, so much more worth it. And I, I see him working and it's not a nine to five, it's like a 24 hour job. He's yeah. constantly thinking, he's constantly on yeah. the phone mm -hmm. with home buyers or people that want to sell their home. It's like, I've seen the work that he puts in and I recognize that it's not, it's not yeah. easy to be self-employed. It's definitely a challenge, if not more challenging right. at times. Yeah. So I think I just had the best role models, honestly, yeah. growing up. Right. I love awesome. that. Yeah. I like that. Where for advice for the younger generation coming up, like I know you always, you're giving back a ton to women's softball. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for folks that want to follow in your footsteps and also build a business in the creator space? Ooh, I think advice as far as for younger athletes, softball yeah. and baseball players yep. is to not be too hard on yourself and recognize that it's a game and you play games because they're fun. You don't play games because your parents tell you to. You don't do things because it's what you have to do. But think of your sport as something that is fun. It's something you get to do. And so that you look at it through a lens that's very grateful. Right. And instead of looking at it like, I have to go practice, I have to right. go work out, but rather the I get to mentality, mm. I think is very powerful and it can help you get to the college level versus some that don't make mm -hmm. it there because the longer you love the game, the longer you're going to be able to play the game. Right, and that's right. kind of where you want to be at. And as far like as... That content goes I don't genuinely have advice yeah. to be blunt I posted a video and got really lucky yeah. I, I like I'm that. fortunate for it but at the same time maybe my advice would be I didn't post on TikTok for mm -hmm. a long time because I was so concerned about what my teammates uh, would say yeah. or what my yeah. peers would think and then I finally just did it and kind of just said who cares anymore yep. and that's when yeah. good things started happening as far as my videos going viral and right. having these opportunities just not caring too much what other people think and just putting yourself out there is a really powerful thing to natural. do. keeping it natural. I see seeing you guys is like, like you guys all have your thing that you do on TikTok, but like yours, like it's softball. You play softball, screw it. Let me, let me film this. It's going to yeah. take off. You doing your thing. It's like mm -hmm. the more, that's very much you that you're just totally. it's keeping it natural, not trying too hard. You got the accent, something natural that you can yeah. pick up on as far as just creating the content. Right. Yeah. And then it's like, cause that's what I'm seeing with, with all the influencers. They found that one thing that they do. Yeah. They don't go out of their space to yep. do it and it They're just blows up. Yeah. yeah, I think the more niche. authentic you can be, exactly. the more yeah. relatable yeah. it will be to the audience. And they can tell. You Honestly. can tell when you're watching it if yeah. it was like an act or if it was real. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be an amazing thing that you do. You don't no. have to be doing backflips no. every other step you take. It's like, the more real and raw you are to your authentic self, it's gonna relay to your audience. Yeah. They're gonna see that and they're gonna 
be curious to watch more. I think that's I like why that. like the Alex Earls of the world right. are going yes. so viral because she's just authentically herself. Yeah. Yeah. She genuinely, I don't think has a care in the world what people think. She's just so honest with her followers. And I think it's something that people are starting to do more in and starting yeah. to lean into mm -hmm. in the influencer space. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I like that. Love it. Did you get a ball? I did. Well, how did you get a ball? <laughs> Such a foul ball. We've been first, here eight seconds. Thank Lauren's you. Got a ball. Thank you to the first baseman on the Red Sox because he tossed <laughs> us over. I, I really appreciate it. it. So, I think he was flirting. I think he was flirting. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. He probably has a wife and children. So true. very true. true. In that case, stay out of the DMs. Oh my God. Uh, any <laughs> final questions for Lauren? You two. I actually do want to ask one Please. question, baseball wise. Now, okay. What I know you're traveling to a ton of games. What is the most? What's the game you're most excited for? The game I'm most excited for, honestly, the game that we watched in Mexico mm, City, that first game, nuts. it was unlike anything I've ever seen really? before. Who was that? It uh, was the Padres and the Giants. Yep. Okay. But it's a, it was runs. a group of nine influencers. I don't think one of us was on our phones. No. We yep. were fully immersed in just enjoying yep. the game. And that was the coolest thing ever. They had a fireworks show after. Yep. And uh, Jack and I were saying it was like out of body. It was yeah. weird. Yeah. It was yeah. just such an incredible game. But then what I'm looking forward to is probably the London series, which mm. is uh, hard. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cubs and Cardinals. Yep. And we have all the boys in the class are rooting for the Cubs and all the girls yeah. are going for the Cardinals. I like love an awkward that. Eighth grade dance. Yeah. So, so we got side. a little boy girl rivalry coming <laughs> yeah. up. Someone just got to break the silence yeah. and walk awesome. to the middle of the yeah. dance floor. Exactly right. <laughs> Face off. I, yeah. <laughs> Plug yourself up. I want to make sure where can everyone find you on all your socials? You can find me at Lauren Burke 5 on Instagram and Lauren Burke 00, zero on TikTok. Woo! Lauren Burke Beautiful. all the way from Texas. Yeehaw. And Woo. Latvia, go Hook Longhorns. Up. Hook them. <laughs> yeah. Hook them, baby. Horns up, baby. Horns, Horns up. up. All right, all right, all right.